Let's now use a rational function in an application. So the percentage of drug in a person's bloodstream t hours after its injection is approximated by the function c of t equals 5t over 4t squared plus 5. Approximately what percentage of the drug is in the person's bloodstream after 5.5 hours? So here's what we know. We know that c of t is 5t divided by 4 times t squared plus 5. We also know that it's been 5.5 hours, so t is 5.5. So what we really want to know in this problem is, what's c of 5? Well, that's going to be 5 times 5.5 divided by 4 times 5.5 squared plus 5. Now at this point, I'm going to grab a calculator and work through it this way. So we're going to do 5 times 5.5 and put 27.5 on top. On bottom, we're going to get 4 times 5.5 squared plus 5 is 126. All right, now we can divide. 27.5 divided by 126 is 0.21825, which is 21.83%. So 5.5 hours after being driven, given the drug, there's only 21.83% percentage in the bloodstream. It's diluted down since then and has had some effect. So again, it's not much different than using other types of functions. You just have to make sure that you're watching your numerator and your denominator and then performing the appropriate function. It's also important to make sure that the domain is valid, but in this one, nothing can make the denominator zero. No real number can, so we're not worried about it. Because of the t squared and the plus 5, this will always be positive and this will keep it positive. But we can't really have negatives because this function only works from the time you start putting it in, which is at time equals zero.